hearing about all the different kinds of research and uh, practices that have been presented so far. And at this point, I'm sure we can all agree upon the fact that sustainable and successful public health work, especially when it comes to vaccine uptake, needs to build upon research-based knowledge. And that research-based knowledge needs also to be implemented in the right way. I came here last year the first time, and uh, I was both happy and sad. Happy because of all the great things I heard about. Uh, a bit sad because I work for the Finnish Public Health Agency, and we are responsible, responsible for the national immunization program. I was sad because we could make much better use of all the knowledge that is out there in the field of research. That's partly what gave us also the idea for this session, to see how different kinds of, of uh, research has been implemented in practice. We're very happy to be able to present uh, three speakers, Arno and Ev, and also Andrea Burtz from uh, ECDC. Uh, in a short while, uh, Arno will be talking to, talking us, telling us about uh, an educational intervention method, a program, the EMI program. After that, Ev from uh, the Quebec National Institute of Public Health and University of Laval, Laval University, will be talking, about, talking to us about the CANVAX project. And then uh, Andrea Wurz from ECDC will be speaking about ECDC's perspective on implementing research-based knowledge. But I will take this opportunity, if I can have the slides, please, uh, to say just a couple of words about something called the EU Joint Action on Vaccination. So, <coughs> this is something that started just a short while ago. In August, we had the kickoff a couple of weeks ago in Paris. Uh, it will be, it's a three-year project, and it was initiated by the EU Commission together with the member states. Can I have the next slide, please? Okay. It's coordinated by ANSER, uh, the French Public Health Institute, and the coordinator is uh, Professor Geneviève Chen from the University of Bordeaux. And the aim, the objectives of, of, of this project, it's not a research pro project, it's a pretty pure public health policy project, will be to develop cooperation between member state authorities in general, to define principles for vaccine demand forecasting, and to develop a prototype for a data warehouse for sharing of vaccine supply and demand information. We will define common criteria for pri priority setting in vaccine research and development, and uh, define specifications of data requirements when it comes to vaccination registries. And also, bolded on the bottom, we will be working on hesitancy and uptake too. It's called Work Package 8, and the name is Vaccine Hesitancy and Uptake from Research and Practices to Implementation. We have three different tasks. Uh, Finland, in practice me, will be leading the two first tasks. Uh, mapping and creating mechanisms for reviewing research-based knowledge and best practices. And task two, to share this knowledge and this information that we have gathered. We're in the very start still of the project, so I can't tell you too much, much about the details. But the idea is to actually do something that we can use, that member states can use, not another final report, not, a, not a another report, but actually something usable, something that, we, that, uh, that helps us in our everyday life in the, in the public health work. 
And then Italy has the last task. The Public Health Institute of Italy will be creating a, a platform for monitoring real-time public vaccine uh, confidence. And uh, if I remember correctly, it will start with uh, three languages, but hopefully and possibly be uh, also other languages will be included. The, I think the first languages will be French, Italian, and English. 20 countries are, as I said, uh, participating in EU joint action. Out of the 20 countries, as many as 17 are participating in the work package on vaccine hesitancy. We will also be working together with the different stakeholders. Uh, ECDC <coughs> and uh, WHO, but we are still working on the formalities on this, this and seeing how you will be engaged in the project. Uh, so I'm sorry, I won't be able to tell you anything about the results yes, yet, as you can understand, we just started, but in three years, I promise, I will be here and I will tell you everything about the project. <laughs> But in the meantime, uh, I could let Arnaud say something because he actually knows something already. Please. 